This is Barry with Wood Wind and welcome to the Professional Cleaning Series. Today we're going to talk about cleaning sinks and counters. As you can see, this area that we're doing today is not overly soiled, so we're just going to work in a nice pattern to make sure it stays clean and then we're not transferring any soils between one area to the next. There's always three things that we're trying to remember when we're cleaning. One is we're going to work from top to bottom. Two is we're going to work from clean to more soiled areas within this environment. And three is we're going to help you develop a pattern that works for you because every counter and sink may not be the same, but we're going to help you adapt. First and foremost is I'm going to apply here a little cleaner disinfectant and I'm going to start working from the top. I've got the units down the back and I'm able to slide in one fluid motion right across the back. Now at the same time I'm holding across the top, it might be some light dusting, that's where we want to just make sure we're doing. I'm then now going to come back and get across the base here and then work across the counter itself. Very simply then come around the front and make sure that the front is cleaned off. We have wood at the front, we don't need to wipe that down, we've got to be careful of some surfaces that we're playing with. We want to double check the knobs that people are, are working with, making sure nothing's getting, getting uh, issued that way as well. I'm going to clean, here you, I've picked up some hair so I just want to make sure that I'm turning the cloth over. We never want to work with a soil cloth as we're going now, especially to cabinetry or any time of, uh, any time of uh, handles here. And now I'm just going to walk, wipe across here and making sure these are nice and clean underneath this here. And then I'm going to work down underneath. Here you've got to be careful, there's a little lip underneath and I want to make sure that that's clean. And then I'm just going to clean right down into the basin. There is also a drain cover that we have at the bottom. We just want to make sure that's nice and cleaned off as well. So we want to make sure that when we're done, we want to take a nice visual. Does everything, does everything out of there? We don't want to really leave it anything that potentially could have come from the counter um, in the dry soil and leave it back in the sink. So I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is Barry from Woodwine. Just remind you to keep clean and stay safe.